everyone, my name is Ricky. Welcome to my YouTube channel, guys, Rick's Tricks. If you're new at this channel, hit that subscribe button, guys. And if you'd like to support me even more, be sure to use my support creator code in the item shop, Rick's Lion Tricks, guys. That would mean absolutely a hell of a lot. So, in today's video, guys, I'm going to be showing you how to get a much, much better performance, guys, on Fortnite. And I promise you, I'm not lying, okay? If, like, if you watch this video and it turns out I'm lying and it doesn't work, you guys can slag me off as much as you'd like in the comment section below. And I won't delete any, but if it does work, please make sure you comment and say it works, Rick. Thank you so much, or something like that. Just so people in the future that click on the video know if it works or if it doesn't work. But I promise you guys that this will work, okay? So... The way it's going to work is we're going to set Fortnite to high priority on your PC. Okay, now if you don't know what that means, basically what you're doing is you're making your CPU and things in your PC send a lot more power and a lot more performance to that thing that you set to high priority. Whether that's Fortnite or it could be Warzone, it could be Minecraft, you know what I mean? It could be Valorant, CSGO, whatever. It could be any game you want it to be. Um, but not a lot of people know about this. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to show you guys how to do this. Now, to first... So the first thing you want to do is click down here onto your little search part and then uh, click R E G. Okay. Just type that. And then it should just pop up with registry editor. Okay. And then click on that and just click yes, allow it. And then you're going to see this all right at the top here, these little H key things. Okay. Now you're going to want to click on the arrow next to H key local machine. Now in this video, I'm going to go really slow here. So everyone does not have to pause the video they can just listen to me in the background okay and you should be able to keep up with me because i'm going to go nice and slow so you don't have to keep pausing the video and things like that um so yeah so just click the arrow guys next to h key local machine <clears throat> and then in there you're going to want to click the arrow next to software and then in there you're going to want to click microsoft and then once you're in the Microsoft one, guys, you're going to want to scroll down all the way to the bottom. And it's going to say um, Windows NT right here. And so just click the arrow next to that one. And then in there, it's only going to say one thing, current version. Okay. And then click the arrow, obviously, on that one. And then once again, scroll down near to the bottom. And then it's going to say this thing here, this image file thing. Okay. And then just click the arrow next to there. All right, now once you've done that, guys, you're going to want to go to the description. So you're probably going to want to pause the video here. Um, and there's going to be some things in the description that you can just copy and paste right over just to make things a lot easier for you. Um, and yeah, the first one that you're going to want to copy and paste is this one here, the top one. Um, so once you've done that, come back onto here, guys. Okay, and then you're going to want to right click on here. Make sure you've clicked the arrow first and then right click on here where it says image file click new and then click key okay and once you've done that paste in what you've copied and pasted, and then just press enter <clears throat> now once you've done that you want to copy and paste this one here okay and then you're going to want to right click on the fortnite client win 64 and then you're going to want to click new and then key again and then paste in the next one and then press enter okay now, when you're on here, this one here, guys, okay, you're going to want to right click on perf or perf option, whatever it says, click new, and then go down to where it says D word 32 bit value, okay? Make sure it's the 32 one, not the 64, okay? And then what you want to do is paste in what you've copied and pasted again, the CPU priority, and then press enter. And then once you've done that, guys, you just right click here on the CPU thing and click modify. And as you can see, it's set to zero, which is just normal balanced. OK, you're going to want to set that to free. And then that's going to make your game now go to high priority. Uh, and I will show you that as well. But once you've done that and clicked OK, you can now just click off this, click the X button um, and you are literally ready to go. I'm going to not save that. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to show you this now. Epic Games. I do apologize as well if this commentary wasn't like amazing. I did it live while I was showing you what to do. Um, like, I didn't like record it and then speak over it. I thought it'd be better if I just commentated it live. Um, so you guys can, you know, keep up and hopefully not having to keep pausing the video. But I promise you now, guys, this helps 100 million percent. Okay, when I done this, it performed. You, 
like I'm actually going to put it out there. You get minimum 20 to 30 FPS increase, which is on a game that is a lot, guys. Okay, that's not a little amount. That is quite a lot to get a 20, 30 FPS boost. So say you're playing on like 60 FPS right now, which is basically console, and you get like a 20 to 30 FPS boost. You're going to be playing on about 90 FPS instead. Do you know what I mean? 80, 90 FPS. So um, it's going to be a lot smoother, and uh, the performance should be much, much, much better for you. Um, but yeah, so let's just launch up a Fortnite. I'm going to probably skip this on. Right, guys. So as you can see, Fortnite is now loading up. I don't even need to come onto the game, um, but I'm just going to show you what I mean. So just right click on your taskbar, just anywhere, um, and open Task Manager. This is how to check to make sure you've done it right. And then right click on Fortnite and click Go to Details. And then it'll be the one that's highlighted. It's the biggest file here. Just right click on that guys and then click set priority and as you can see it's going to be on high as in it would usually be on normal. So we've gone up to high and um, yeah it just makes the game perform much much better, sends a lot more things and stuff to the game. Um, and yeah 